What's up? What's good? Welcome back. What's up to Tsukimichi Moonlit Fantasy? Now, the previous episode that we saw, or last sec- last week's episode that we saw, we were, we saw that we were able to give the guy the guy that we took the quest from. We were able to give him the materials he needed to cure his family. Now, there's something going on with this guy because from what we've seen and from what we heard, everybody that takes a quest from this guy, something always ends up going wrong. Like something always happens. The quest is never able to be completed. So that kind of hints that there's something, uh, you know, going on behind the scenes. But then again, this dude seems like a really genuine person. Like, he just wants to heal his family. But, I mean, I don't want to speculate that that is the case, that he's a good person. Because we've seen characters like this before. They come across as a good person or a genuine person. But the latter ends up being true and they actually end up being evil. So we don't know if he's good or evil. We just know that there's something going on behind the scenes. And then towards the end of the episode, we saw that Makoto was actually being trailed. He was being followed. And uh, it looked like a bunch of adventurers were planning to ambush him. So we don't know what's going to happen. Anyways, let's just hop into this one and uh, let's see what's up. Here we go. So it looks like we're making the medicine for his family right now. And of course, remember Makoto said that he was going to ask his friend, the other adventurer that he met, to uh, help him with this, with the medicine making. Yo, <laughs> he fucking dropped it, bro. He's right, he is an idiot, because as we know, those are valuable uh, materials that they use to make this medicine. Like, they're not running the bill, one of the mill uh, materials that they got from uh, ordinary monsters. From what we saw, sorry about that. <laughs> he bumped his head, bro. So it looks like Makoto's gonna help him out. Uh, it looks like my cousin I help him, uh, I guess, administer the medicine to his family. Is what I'm trying to say. Can have him make more? And everybody always like doubts him, which is normal. I mean, it should be expected. He is a level one. Every time someone looks at him, he comes up as a level one. But he's extremely overpowered, and he's using that to lure the the wife out. She, yeah, no kidding, she is in bad shape. She looks terrible, bro. Can you actually cure her though? She looks like she's far too she looks like she's kinda of far gone already. Like far too gone. Please stay back. And we know uh, he's mentioning judo, but we know he's taking classes before he has that archery class. It looks like he's got uh he's dabbled in judo as well. And all those abilities are helping him out in this world, which is pretty cool when you think about it. It looks like the husband is gonna administer the medicine. I was about to say, I was about to say, it's not smart to put your hand right there, bro. She bit the shit out of his fucking hand. I wonder if it's like contagious. Like, I mean, like if someone bites you, I wonder if like it has like a side effect. I'm pretty sure it doesn't because nothing's happened to him yet. And they've been like that for a while, so. Yeah. So it looks like nothing happens. But that's still crazy though that like he took that fucking bite like that. Where the fuck is her daughter? I must have been in the mind earlier, but now. She's in a fucking ceiling, bro. She looks like a fucking spider person, for real. She had that Spider Man, uh. Spider Man pose up in the wall and shit. Fucking slammed into the ground. And there we go. So that's, uh, two down and one to go, correct? We're going to the other one. For the last patient. She's hurting the curtains of the bed. It looks like this one still can talk or has got some sense to her. She's crying. That's sad, bro. Please, bro. So it looks like she's not like, she hasn't completely gone like her sister and her mom. She can still, she still has some sense to her or some control over herself. And she was able to talk. She's still attacked on the guardless as we know. They're still going through this fucking shit. They were waiting for him on the outside. It's only f- natural for fathers to wait their master. <laughs> He's like, yeah, right. She, for real, she probably wants to go see how stronger she is than uh, Mio now. There's something they're curious about. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay, so it looks like the adventures that were trailing them are gonna, finally gonna attack him now. Because as we stated before, and as we seen in the end of last week's episode, he was getting followed, and they said that they were gonna call all the uh, other adventurers. So it looks like they're making the move now. And they're like, oh fuck. You have to determine the assassin's strength. We haven't met nobody yet that's near their level, which is crazy. I wonder if we're gonna meet someone that's as strong as him, uh, or near their level that can pose a threat anytime soon. 
That kind of raises the question, like, how strong are the other heroes? Because we know he's not the only one that got summoned as a hero. There was other people that the god are summoned before him. So I'm wondering if they're as strong as him or around this level or uh, they're just a lot weaker. She's going to take him out by herself. <laughs> Fucking need the shit out of her. Don't worry. I use the back of my sword. <laughs> He's like, you just picking this much shaman with the back? Dude, my allergies are fucking killing me, bro. <clears throat> oh, she's trying to dip out of there. She's trying to run away. I'm trying to transport. Got him with the quickness, land him to the ground. Oh, shit. <laughs> wasn't he, yeah, I was about to say, wasn't he holding back? So it looks like he was holding back, but he's just that much stronger than that. Looks like he's got like a fucking fancy ass dagger and shit. He's like, that sounds like a gross drink. That's a fine sword. That looks like more like a dagger to me, but... Hey, oh shit. Easy work, bro. Easy money. Quick work. She's mean mugging him. I'm not gonna die. I doubt it. He did tell her not to uh, kill him. She see something? Uh, she's not... Uh, it looks like he's not 100% bad if he had he has those memories. So it looks like they tried to uh, put his family to sleep, but it ended up being something else. That was the plan. The curse wouldn't kill him. It looks like they, it was turning him into fucking monsters and shit. They were, he was just trying to put him to sleep, but it looks like he got he just got used. He was maybe some kind of tool or something. He's asking Tomo if he's telling the truth. <laughs> Your payment, the payment you promised. All right, <laughs> she took everything, bro. I left the dude broke. <laughs> Look at the way she's staring at him, bro, with just this taste. <laughs> she looks so proud, bro. She looks so proud of herself for taking all his money. <clears throat> we'll have to consider a plan. Okay, so now that now this 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 is looking a little suspicious, bro. Okay, so then, I, like I said, we met people that look good before, but you never know. It looks like there is something going on behind the scenes. Even she's saying, "You're not just a good person after all." So I wonder what the fuck they're up to. There's actually a minor problem concerning the three of you. I wonder what happened now. Looks like there's a problem concerning them. You're like, huh? What are you talking about, Willis? I have a bad feeling about this. That makes two of us. Alright, so that's my reaction to episode 7 of Tsukimichi. Uh, we saw that Makoto was able to heal uh, the family, that one guy's family. Uh, I don't remember his name, or I kind of remember it, but I'm not sure I can pronounce it correctly, so I don't, I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I don't want to butcher it. But essentially what I'm trying to say, he was able to heal that guy's family, the guy that hired him for the quest. It looks like, uh, it looked like uh, originally it was just supposed to put his family to sleep. But from what we saw, that was like, that was not the case. It looked like the dude, I guess he got tricked maybe or he got used because that was not a, that was not a sleeping curse. They were turning into fucking monsters and shit. But regardless, they're cured now. And then we found out that there is something going on behind the scenes that this guy that, that, uh, Hired him for the quest is going is maybe dealing in some shady shit because after the after we saw that uh they uh healed his family and then they defeat the adventurers and uh, before they uh went back to the <clears throat> to that area where uh, that uh, he controls uh, I forgot what it's called that that separate space or partial space that they control dimension I forgot what they call it exactly so before they went back we saw Tomoe was spying on the people that hired him for the quest or for the mission. And uh, it looks like they are up to something uh, kind of behind the scenes that they might be doing some shady business because uh, it looks like they might try to do something now to Makoto to maybe try to get him out the way because they were saying that uh, as a merchant, I guess, uh, he might be a threat to them. I don't know. Like, I don't know exactly what's going on, but it looks like they might be up to something shady. Anyways, and then when they made it back into the into the area, Emma told them that uh, 
that there's something going on with the three of them. She has to talk about it. Makoto says that he has a bad feeling about this. So it looks like once we're out with, once we're done with one thing, we get another one. It look it's just one thing after another, man. Anyways, it was a pretty dope episode. I enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, last week's episode and this week's episode, I'm glad that my girl Tomo is back. Like I said, she's my favorite character. And once again, in this episode, she proves why she's my favorite character. She's just fucking hilarious. We had another funny interaction with Miu as well, where she took all that adventurous money and she looked proud that she took all this money. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Anyways, so I just stated it before. I enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys did too. Catch you guys on the next one. Take care and uh, bye.